Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, my tutorial. This is part two of, uh, I don't know how many parts. Okay, so to cap off where we got up to, we've gotten a list of names and we've placed it on uh, our spreadsheet here. Now, it's not looking very exciting at the moment. All we've got is like a column full of names that have got um, different stuff there and still doesn't make, make um, a lot of sense to us. Um, okay, so this is where the magic starts to happen. Um, there are actually some hidden sheets that I've made here full of formulas that took me a while to figure out. So maybe about six hours all told of researching and trying and pulling my hair out, but never mind, you don't need to hear about that. Um, but they're working hard at the moment to make this thing work. Okay, so I explained the subject codes over here at the moment. We're only down up the down to physics here. We can add some more later on, but let's go to where subject list generator. Oh, hang on, here we go. All right, so what we've got here is a sheet. And as you can see, we've got here a course name. Um, it's a protected sheet, so you can't do anything here except for two items here. and which is this yellow thing here and this gray thing here. Let's go to the yellow thing first. Okay, firstly it says here, all students. Um, all right, so we've got here all of the 90 odd people that we had and some of the not so odd people. Um, and yep, we've got them all students there. Okay, so if I click on this little arrow here, it pulls down a drop down menu and it pulls all these options from that um, from that subject codes sheet that we have here. So let's say, for example, your ancient history exam is tomorrow. So and you want to print out some sheets, and you're doing, you know, you left it a little bit late, but never mind. Click ancient history. Ta-da! What it's done is it's went and searched for all the people that were on that roll list that have this code somewhere along here, and I've. Believe me, I've tested it. You know, when when I do these things, I test them until I make sure it works perfectly, and it works perfectly. Um, I think I was really inspired um, yesterday when I was working on this, particularly because I've got like two essays due in a couple of weeks' time. So, yeah, so I decided to do this instead. All right, so um, all right, so all of these ancient history people are here. Um, obviously, there's going to be more normally, but we've only gone down to Avenite here. But all right, now this is um, where it gets even more exciting. So you finish that, you go generate student cards, and this is gonna pop up. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Okay, don't worry about that. You just go okay. Anytime anything like this pops up, you just hit okay. Promise this won't insert any viruses or anything onto your computer. All right, so then um, I'm just gonna go look for it. This is gonna be slightly different for you guys, but this is how I've organized mine. I'm gonna go to documents where I've kept it. Student card, student exam cards extend XLSX. That's where my things are. And oh, lo and behold, we've got Jacob Barakat, whose number is 26832438. Let's just double check if that's true. Jacob Barakat, 26832438. And what course is he doing? Ancient history. Ah. And then all you gotta do, finish and mail merge, print documents, and Bob's your uncle. You can have your cards. Let's go check it for another thing. I'm just gonna close this, just make sure that it works. All right, and don't save. Don't need to save you. All righty, let's say. All right, so ancient history exam is finished, but you've got a music exam. Or, okay, no, we'll do mathematics general. <gasps> Jesse Abbott is over there first on the list. Okay, and we've got, there's Avenite again. We can generate student cards. Okay. Go back to documents. Jesse Abbott, 268322. Trust me, it's the right one. Scroll down. Oh, forgot to do this. Mailings. Finish and merge. Just edit the individual documents here. So we can see. Da -da 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 -da. 
da, 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 da. and there's Ebony, and I um, still have to work out a couple of um, kinks here because I get this showing up at the bottom. I I know what I've done, but it's just a bit of a hassle to kind of fix it up. But all you've got to do is go print up to page f five. So you go file, print, page, don't print the whole thing because it'll print all the blank ones as, as well. Go print pages one to five, and you click on print, and it'll print out the stuff for you. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. And remember, if you have any questions, just don't be afraid to ask me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.